What's that year say? Since 1968, the Jets have went to Super Bowl three. That was the last time they went to the Super Bowl. You know, I have a lot of things on my mind I just want to talk about. I don't really post videos at all. I'm just an average fan that follows channels like Jet Central, Jets Talk Media. But after watching what I've seen so far, I have just a lot of things I need to just get off my chest. Number one, as soon as Rodgers went down in four plays for the first game, opening game of the season of 2023, I was in, literally in total shock. I was completely dumbfounded like most of you. And I was at a loss for words. I had my dad call me immediately when Rogers looked at the camera and he looked like, you know, one of those sad puppies that kind of knew that it was going to get put down and just the look in his eyes and just saying, this isn't good. I knew right then and there, this season was shot. But I was in denial, and I thought this team could carry on. I thought this team could fight on, could do good, could weather the storm based on the talent that they have. But I was completely wrong. And looking back at that injury, I saw Dwayne Brown, who never practiced or had any reps in training camp, and was injured the entire training camp and off season. To have Sala put him out there to try to protect Rogers and immediately gets bull rushed into Rogers is inexcusable. And I think that hasn't been really talked about more. And he was one of the biggest blunders that Joe Douglas has signed via free agency along with Lankin Tomlinson. Overpaid and washed. That's inexcusable. We talked about the whole offseason, and I've said this on Jet Central's videos time and time again. While they were hunting for Rodgers, they should have pursued an improving on the offensive line. I understand. People want to say, oh, well, Joe Douglas did. He got Lankin Tomlinson. He got Dan Dwayne Brown. He got Joe Tipman as center. You no. Know, Billy Turner, if you want to add. That's not enough, guys. That's not enough. That is putrid. Billy Turner is not even a starter in this league. And we have him out there for this makeshift O-line. Dwayne Brown and Lincoln Tomlinson have been absolute turnstiles for the Jets. They can't protect my fucking grandmother behind that, behind in the pocket. And Joe Douglas had all off season when fans were chanting it, build this O-line, build this offensive line. Protect Rodgers. You want this team to succeed. You want the scheme to succeed. You want the run games to open. You want wide receivers to get open and run their routes. Build the offensive line. It's one of the biggest foundations, one of the most important pieces, along with the quarterback, that you have to work on in pro football. Let alone football. But I have a lot of people telling me, on Twitter and in comment sections. You know, the offensive line is a problem, but it's not one of the biggest. It's the biggest problem on this fucking team along with play calling. I'm not saying Hackett is good. No, he's, he's terrible. Without Rodgers, he's terrible. But don't sit here and tell me 
that if the Jets didn't have a great offensive line, they would have looked much better. Because they would have. The run game would have got more holes, would have been thriving a lot better than what it is now, instead of getting stuffed, and wide receivers would be able to run their routes, and, quarter, and the quarterback, whoever's in that pocket, would have more time, would have better protector passer rating, and would be able to make his reads without getting pressured or sacked immediately. I call it like I see it. The fact that this offensive line is not being talked about makes me have to post a video to talk about it. Because if you guys aren't going to talk about it, if the main channels aren't going to talk about it, then me as an average fucking moron has to come in here and say something. Because this is inexcusable. When we had all offseason... We had free agency to get the top linemen with cap money that we had, and we chose not to do anything about it, and we chose to f focus more and more and more on the defense. If I see another draft pick for the defense for the Jets this upcoming draft, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. This whole draft should be offensive linemen, guard, tackle, Put, make sure you solidify left tackle. I don't care. Every single fucking round. If you want to add a wide receiver to add more weapons, please do that. But those should be the only two positions that I should see on my TV. Offensive lineman and wide receiver. You know, some people are going to want to say... Oh, they'll get it done this offseason. What makes you think they'll get it done this offseason? What makes you think that? I have no hope that they're going to focus on that. Because Joe Douglas had all the ample time in the world to do it. And he chose to do nothing. He sat back with what he had and said, this line is good. I'm good. You're not good. I don't care what stats people want to bring up. I don't care what the rankings the Jets have, like some guy on Twitter who I was arguing with, how the Jets don't have the worst offensive lines. They have the worst offensive line I've ever seen in football. Period. End of story. End of discussion. We're making the same stupid penalties day after day, game after game, shooting ourselves in the foot, but yet the culture is great. Don't worry about the culture. The culture is great, though. The Jets' culture is fine. Are you kidding me? Who cares about the fucking culture? I don't care how good the culture is. If you're shooting yourselves in the foot with holding false starts... Unnecessary roughness. Who does that fall under? The head coach, Robert Sala, which a lot of people want to say, you know, let's give him a pass. He's been dealing with a lot. He was down, you know, six starters for the offensive line. Yes, I realize that. I get that. But whose fault is it? For not going to Joe Douglas and saying, listen, we need depth on the offensive line. We need great caliber players for to back up on the offensive line If in case guys goes down. That's on Robert Sala. That's on Joe Douglas. You, wanna, you want me to bring up another point during this offseason that drove me nuts? And I don't know if anybody else noticed this. Why did Joe Douglas let George Fant, Morgan Moses... Nate Herbig all walk in the offseason. Why didn't you sign them? Why didn't you extend them? We had the cap. We had the money. And we did nothing. We let them walk. We even let fucking Dan Feeney walk to Miami. And he's better than half of the 
fucking offensive lineman on this roster right now. The only viable players on this offensive line that have been doing pretty good, despite their injuries, AVT, Makai Becton, Joe Tipman. That's it. Everybody else should be cut, released. I don't care. Build this offensive line. Make this offensive line great again. The last time the Jets have had a great offensive line, ready for this? 2009 all the way to 2011. And guess what happened? With a mid quarterback in Mark Sanchez, with a great offensive line, the Jets had a great run game. They had wide receivers that could get open. And Mark Sanchez had time despite how bad he was. And he took the Jets all the fucking way to the AFC Championship game. I'm not saying it was just Mark Sanchez. The Jets' defense was one of the greatest defenses in that time. And Rex Ryan was a damn good head coach in those three years. Way better than Robert Sala. If I'm Rodgers... I'm going right to Salah. I'm going right to Joe Douglas. And I'm saying to them, clear as day, if you guys don't work on this offensive line and get it figured out and make it great, I'm going to retire and not play. If I'm Rodgers, what's the point of playing when literally the first game of the fucking 2023 season, I get bull rushed from my left side because I have a lineman who hasn't tra practiced all of training camp and we decided he would be good enough. And I fucking tear my Achilles. Figure it out, Joe. You had last season and you did nothing. During the draft last year, I was losing my fucking goddamn mind. Because you know why? We chose Will... M and I like Will McDonald. I don't... Listen, don't get me wrong. I think he's got potential. I think he's got really good potential. Enough with the defense! The defense is fine! We needed to draft a lineman and we did not... I've said this to my friends. I've said this to family members as a Jets fan since, tw since, since 2004, really. I refuse to go to a Jets game until they show me they are a competent, good organization. And so far, I've been right every single goddamn time when I see weaknesses that have not been improved. And I refuse to go and pay my money to Woody Johnson to say, this is good enough, Woody. I'm fine with this. You got tickets? Sell them. Send the message loud and clear that this is unacceptable. If I was with Ian right now from Jet Central, I would be going off and telling him that this lot offensive line is putrid and is not good enough it's one of the biggest foundations i'll keep repeating it it's one of the biggest foundations in football it's the root of success for football teams look at all the good teams in football right now the chiefs the eagles the Ch I, I was gonna say the chargers no I, I was no not the chargers the ravens the Browns. What do they all have in common? They have great offensive lines. The 49ers. I forgot them. The 49ers. They have a great offensive line. And please, I would love to just throw money on this right now. If Zach Wilson was traded to either of those franchises behind that offensive line and the weapons that they had, 
he would succeed. Please do not give me the fucking stats of him. Oh, well, you know, with a clean pocket, Zach Wilson is still not good based on pro. Shove it up your ass. I don't care. We did nothing to help this kid. You, Trevor Simeon would fucking die under this offensive line. He would get killed. And yet we're clamoring for Trevor Simeon. That's where we're at. Do I think the Jets, do I think Joe Douglas should have built, uh, focused on having a backup quarterback during the offseason? Yes. Yes, I do. Zach should have been third string. Third string. Rodgers, Minshew, Zach Wilson. So we use Zach Wilson in dire emergencies, but yet we had to pull him in week one because we didn't have a backup quarterback too. So those are my main issues. And I will agree, the play calling hasn't been great either. The play calling has been atrocious. But like I said, like I'm going to say this right now, the Jets are not going to fire Nathaniel Hackett. That's Rodgers' guy. Rodgers is going to play next year. And hopefully, hopefully, if we have a great offensive line and we target those guys that we need in this free agency and draft, and in some by God miracle, Rodgers takes us to the AFC championship, maybe he plays another season. Who knows? But this year was fucking wasted because the GM and coach failed to do what they needed to do. Oh, all those starting linemen went down? Well, guess what? That depth that we let walk in free agency in the offseason, we could have used Nate Harabick. We could have used George Fant. We could have used Morgan Moses. Instead, we all let them walk. Oh, and Dan Feeney, too. We could have used Dan Feeney. But you know what? We let all of them walk. We let them all walk. Inexcusable, guys. It's inexcusable. Start talking about the offensive line. The weapons haven't been good either. Besides Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall. I'm giving Joe Douglas and Robert Sala one more year. And if they can't prove to me as a fan to have a winning pedigree this offseason and next year and win games with Rodgers and takes us all the way to the AFC Championship game, they should be fired. If they don't do the necessary changes that they need to do this offseason... and address this team's needs, they need to go. They need to go. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired that I have to go on here and make a video about this. I'm tired that I have to address this when so many people sometimes in, in Jets fan world want to ignore this. This offensive line hasn't been good since 2011. That was the last time since 2011. We're in 2023 now. Get it together, Joe. This is this is inexcusable. And I'm not watching a single game for the rest of the season. I'm focused on the offseason, the, the tackles and guards that are available, and I'm focused on the draft. Fix this O-line. Get better weapons. Protect Rodgers. Protect Zach. Whoever. I don't care. See you later.